Hi, this is the second um, video in solving simultaneous equations by um, elimination. So this is example two. Um, I suggest you go back and watch example one if you haven't done so already. Right, um, in this example it's slightly different because our coefficients of our variables a and b here um, aren't the same as each other. Okay, they're different to each other. That means if I take one equation away from the other, or if I add these equations together, nothing's going to eliminate at the moment. So what that means is that I need an extra step um, where I make the coefficients the same. So I can either make the coefficients of a the same, so the coefficients are the numbers in front of the a, what we're multiplying the a by, or I can make the coefficients of b the same, the numbers that we're multiplying the b by. Okay, if I call this equation 1, and I'll call this one equation 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all, because I want to make the coefficients the same, um, I'm going to make the coefficients of b the same, um, which means I can multiply this equation all through by something that's going to make them the same as each other. So that looks like if I multiply this by 2, um, so equation 2 multiplied by 2 is going to be 4a times 2 is 8a plus 2b times 2 is 4b is equal to, and I need to times this 2 by 2 as well, which is going to be 4. Now the thing to note is that this equation and this equation mean exactly the same thing as each other. Um, this one is just double this one, but they mean exactly the same thing as each other. Okay, so what I can now do um, is to carry out my elimination. Um, I'm going to take this equation um, and I'm going to subtract this one here, so 3a plus 4b, I'll write it underneath, is equal to 14. I'm going to do this equation, take away this equation here. So 8a take away 3a gives me 5a. 4b take away 4b gives me no b. And 4 take away 14 gives me negative 10. Okay, so if 5a is equal to negative 10, um, divide both sides by 5 and a is equal to negative 2. Right, now I know what a is, I can use that information to work out what b is by subbing it back into one of these equations here. So I'm going to choose to sub it into equation 2. So um, I've got 4a, which I now know is negative 2, so 4 times negative 2 plus 2 lots of b, b I don't know yet, is equal to 2. Um, so I've got negative 8 plus 2b is equal to 2, um, which tells me if I add 8 to both sides, 2b is equal to 10, and b is equal to 5. OK, I now know that a is equal to negative 2, and b is equal to 5. I used equation 2 to work out b, so I'm now going to check this in equation 1 and it should work. So um, 3a plus 4b, so 3 times negative 2, which is what a is, plus 4 times b, um, and b is 5, so 4 times 5. Um, and if this has worked, this should be equal to 14. So um, that's going to be equal to a negative 6 plus 20 and negative 6 plus 20 is actually equal to 14, which is what we wanted. So that tells me that um, this is correct. Thanks very much. Cheers. See you next time.